Uh, we're going to be seeing kind of above normal temperatures for the next few days, so maybe those bears don't have to pack on quite as many pounds as they approach hibernation. But we are going to be seeing the changes kicking in late this week. Right now, it's a beautiful sunset as we look to the north from Salesforce Tower. Locally dense fog, in fact, widespread fog is going to be spreading out as we head through the rest of tonight. We're going to see above normal temperatures all week, dry through the work week, and then our rain chances increase as we head through the weekend. Details on that coming up in just about 90 seconds or so. Let's switch perspectives and look at the fog visible behind downtown San Francisco getting closer and closer. Temperatures are in the mid to upper 50s across the board after we did make it up into the low to mid 60s this afternoon. Above normal temperatures today are likely to have those at least slightly above normal temperatures as we go through the rest of this week. Let's track the fog with future cast and it is going to be widespread as we head through tomorrow morning. You can see all of this bright white showing up. That is the fog at ground level, the duller gray showing up off the coast. That's cloud cover farther up in the atmosphere, but the fog will dissipate and back up out of the inland valleys first and even around the bay. I think we'll see the sunshine breaking through as we head towards late morning to probably around lunchtime at the latest. The presence of the fog will have a little bit of an impact on the amount of solar electricity generated across the Bay Area. The numbers the next couple of days a little bit lower than where we were today. And of course, we're all dealing with with the fact that we only have about nine and a half hours of daylight this time of year as we approach the winter solstice. It is now just 10 days away. Temperatures tonight with that fog holding mostly some warmth near ground level. They'll be slightly above average for this time of year, but just a couple degrees, mostly in the low to mid 40s with some spots around Fairfield dipping down into the upper 30s. That's going to be the outlier on the cold side of things. But tomorrow, though, we're going to warm up. Let's take a look at our forecast high temperatures and we'll check those out. Bring them in on the floor map here. We're going to see those temperatures warming up into the lower half of the 60s in most locations. These numbers are several degrees above normal, about five or six degrees above normal for inland parts of the Bay Area with temperatures closer to the Bay, you know, maybe a little bit closer to what's average for this time of year, falling just short of 60 degrees for Half Moon Bay. But everybody else is going to be again into the 60s when we're supposed to only reach up into the 50s here in mid-December and similar temperatures are in store. Some minor little ups and downs as we head through the seven day forecast, but no big changes to temperatures even once the rain chances arrive. So let's talk more about that and we'll put our forecast models side by side and take a look at where they agree and where they maybe disagree. We'll start the maps at four o'clock on Saturday afternoon and we have some differing solutions in terms of how the rain is going to evolve as it approaches. The American forecast model sends a lot of rain into the Bay Area already by by Saturday night into early Sunday morning, while the European forecast model holds it off the coast a little bit longer. They agree that there is a good chance of rain in the forecast overall, just refining the differences in those various scenarios, whether the rain is going to stick around and just continue falling in waves or whether we're going to get a little bit of a longer break in between. Those are the things that we're going to be sorting out over the next couple of days. The six to 10 day outlook from the Climate Prediction Center does show a good chance of a wetter than normal weather pattern and the eight to 14 day outlook, which takes us all the way through Christmas Day. Now, just two weeks away also shows that wetter than normal pattern sticking around for a while. Our temperatures again, as I mentioned, aren't going to change a whole lot as we head through the seven day forecast. So this is the hmm, this didn't update. This is still the forecast that we had up on Friday. Well, we'll make sure that we get that fixed as we head towards 530. We're also going to take a look at the day by day rain chances as we go through the next several days. Again, that's coming up in the 530 half hour. We'll make sure that we get our days straightened out here, guys. <laughs> I'm sure you will. All right. Thanks, Paul.